It's one of the projects that makes uh, German developers very, very jealous. It's, it's the biggest universal third-party usable logistics platform. And on top of it, it's going to be the first that is really carbon positive. So we're in the GVZ, which is the Güterverkehrszentrum, the multimodal freight village. And Bremen happens to be the biggest of those in Germany, one of the biggest in the world. We are very close to the center of Bremen, 15 minutes drive from the city center. It benefits from the port of uh, Bremen with a good connection to the deep sea ports in uh, the North Sea. You also have the possibility to bring in containers by train uh, or via the road network to many, many other countries in the world. We have here a 152,000 square meter site, which was uh, specifically arranged for uh, BLG, who will run from here a uh, international logistics platform. BLG is the biggest logistics uh, party operating here in uh, Bremen. They are 20,000 people worldwide and one of the leading third party logistics providers. It's a really big project. It's a big plot of land here. So we have a total footprint of the warehouse of 93,000 square meter. This is selected or divided into pure warehouse uses uh, of, of approximately 83,000 square meter. Then we have 3,800 on office and social areas. The construction schedule for this building is a very quick one. So we will finish the building in, in 10 months. For building the size of 15 football pitches. This is a very, very short uh, delivery period. So it's like a massive Lego site where all the frame, the walls, they are pre-manufactured and they are just assembled just in time on the site. So this project uh, is a cut and fill project. It means that we have to remove on one side uh, a bit of earth and have to fill this on the other section on the side. That means we don't have any lorries taking the earth to landfill. We managed to design a building that is not only carbon neutral, we managed to design a building which is carbon positive. The major element was the integration of a large roof-mounted solar system, which is actually the biggest ever built in Germany. And this will uh, provide 10 megawatt of energy. Uh, the building itself during the operation will only need two megawatt. So we produce five times more energy than it is required on site. The excess energy is fed into the grid and then made available to other locations of our tenant who will then benefit also from green energy. Of course we have other initiatives. We use the electricity produced on the roof also for the charging stations for electric cars, for electric bikes. We even have outdoor meeting rooms with solar roofs that power the laptops if people want to work outside. We are using LED lights, but intelligent LED lights. So the, the light will spot on to 100% when there is movements. And when there are not, no movements in the warehouse, the brightness all will go to just 10%. So the intelligent light system will pay itself after two and a half years, caused by the energy saving. So we are collecting the grey water into a big tank under, under the earth of 60,000 cubic meters and using the rainwater for, uh, for the toilets so we don't use fresh water. In terms of certification, obviously, we will do it with platinum certification by DGNB. DGNB is the German Institute for Sustainable Construction. This platinum rating is comparable to an outstanding rating with uh, Bream. We are also aiming for the well building uh, standard. One of their real key challenges for companies like BLG or logistics providers is employee retention. So you need to make the workplace as pleasant as possible to satisfy them and keep them. One of the ways to achieve this is by providing, for instance, a lot of natural light. We still have a lot of natural light in the facade and on the roof so that they are in a much more pleasant environment. 
building is designed with flexibility for the future because as a long-term investor for a later use you could potentially make it available to several tenants and use it as a multi-tenant platform. I'm obviously very excited about this uh, project because it will be the first building uh, globally that is carbon positive. It will be leading in design, in functionality, or uh, in the integration in the landscape. Uh, so something that I'm really, really looking forward to inaugurating.